Hi everyone, I'm Max Marginat and I'm here to talk about risk. Risk management is essential in the construction of any sort of portfolio because it allows us to get an idea of what can go wrong. Typically we quantify risk as the sample standard deviation of some return stream or another. And this is a good view, but it's very simple. We can extend this and get more information out of the idea of risk by introducing factor modeling. Now, if you recall from factor modeling, what we typically do is we take some alpha factor, we rank a universe of securities and go long on those securities that have the highest exposure to that alpha factor and short the securities that have the lowest exposure to that alpha factor. And this constructs a portfolio that is purely exposed to that one factor. In risk factor modeling, what we do is essentially the same thing, but instead of taking some factor that we would think of as alpha, we take some factor that we would think of as risk. And this is defined entirely by our investment criteria. So this could be the market itself, uh, the S&P 500. We would compute our exposure to the S&P 500 and use that to construct a similar return stream. And then what we would do is we would quantify the, the returns of our portfolio in terms of the returns of that. And we can get more nuanced than that. We can add individual sectors. We can add particular investment styles that we think are common are, and are, as a result, risky. And once we have all of these individual risk factors all laid out, what we can do is compute the exposure of our portfolio to each of these individual risk factors. And let's, let's, this lets us break down the return stream in terms of those, as well as the volatility in terms of those. So we can get an idea of well, we have this base volatility for our portfolio, what percentage is coming from what individual risk factor? And this lets us get an idea of the unexpected risks that could come with an individual portfolio. If we think that a strategy is uh, a momentum strategy, then we want to make sure that it actually has exposure to momentum and not exposure to mean reversion or any other combination of risk factors. If we think that it's okay and it has enough exposure to momentum despite these other exposures, that's fine, but this gives us more information about what our strategy is actually composed of. So in the case of the Quantopian risk model, what we have are 16 risk factors, 11 sectors, because this allows us to get a more nuanced view versus exposures to the overall market, and five styles. And this is uh, momentum, volatility, and some other ones. Then these together allow us to break down our returns in terms of various different risk factors that we might be concerned about. And these are all key in entry into the contest. You need to have your risk exposures within some known bands. And what this allows for is overall risk control. It allows for a proper risk neutral strategy that you can have faith will perform going forward. 